Let's get into it. Savage. Let's get into it. It's been a lot of shit going down. Yeah. Internet. Clubhouse. Yeah. Back and forth. Nah, Before I, you get into it, I'm going to say, I fuck with Wack. Yeah. Wack is my, me and Wack is good. I don't like the narrative that Wack is pushing, that that kid is a civilian. Yeah. Civilians do not pay niggas $10,000 to go shoot at niggas. Right. Civilians do not run around and tell niggas that they know operate out here in them streets to suck their dick. Right. Civilians do not tell niggas that they know is street niggas that fuck you, your brother got killed, bitch, why you ain't did nothing. Right. Uh, yeah, they just killed another one of your motherfucking homies when you niggas going ride. C civilians don't act like that. Right. I know if my motherfucking uncle who drives SEPTA buses for a living in Philadelphia get into a beef with somebody to work at SEPTA with him, he ain't putting down no pension to get a nigga wiped out. Right. So, whack is my man, but I just don't like that, that narrative of a nigga's a civilian. Once a nigga cross a certain line, that civilian shit go out the window. And a nigga gotta stand on what he stand on. Right. The bottom line is, a nigga jumped in the streets and a nigga told. That's just the bottom line. Yeah, fat. But I just want I just wanted to speak on that because Wack is my nigga, but I don't I don't like the fact that he's pushing that narrative. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But how did y'all end up in that type of shit going down? Oh, I just came in the, the uh, little club. Well, I seen the interview. Well, uh, with the Wack and Six Nine interview, and he was on that talking about suck, telling me suck his dick and all this type shit. I call academics like, uh, call that nigga and tell him I want to fight type shit. I'm like, I call academics like, tell him I want to fight, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. So academics um, called me back after he called him and was like, um, oh, he wants your number type shit. So I'm like, hell, nah, I ain't giving you my number. Like, I was like, call him on the other phone. I'm just going to tell him like what it is type shit. So he called him on the other phone. Like, he, he on one phone with me, and he got him on another phone type shit. So when he answered the phone, like, bro, look, I ain't finna argue. I ain't trying to do none of that extra shit over the phone. Like, have academics set it up. We could fight, box, whatever you want to do type shit. And then after that, we ain't, like, that was just the end of the conversation. He started yelling at her on the phone or whatever. I get on, I see a room on Clubhouse the next day. So I'm just looking at looking at my phone type shit, man. Somebody I know called me like, yo, Wack said you got a problem with him about the interview. So I go in the room, really. Like, I wish I would have had a fake clubhouse because I'm really just going in the room just to listen and see what a nigga saying type shit. But I'm on my real page. So as soon as I go in the room, he like, yeah, 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 yo, Savage. Um, I heard you got a problem with me. And I told him what my problem was, then shit. And it went from there. Like, I seen what happened after that type shit. Yeah. I just don't understand, like, I, I, the, like, I, cause I look at you as a street nigga. I look at Wack as a street nigga. Yeah, you feel, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I just feel like, as niggas that come from the streets, it's just a certain way we gotta handle shit. Right. Going back and forth on clubhouse and that, that's that's not really you know what I'm saying. That ain't really. For us, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that that's that's for that's for the mother niggas. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. you come up in this street, when you come out this gutter, when you make it out of this shit, and you really in the streets, that, that shit ain't for us, man. You yeah, know that nah. shit for them other niggas, man. We can get on here, we can have our differences, we can not see eye to eye, but we ain't got to do the extra shit. Yeah, you see, know? I ain't doing the extra shit though. That's why I'm I tell a nigga out the real like say less, like I ain't finna argue, cause. I don't, where I come from, I demonstrate. I don't really, like, talk about shit. Like, niggas just demonstrate, you know what I'm saying? And I can't demonstrate nothing on the internet. I can't do nothing to you on Clubhouse. So if it's going to be that, I'm going to let you have it. I ain't finna go back and forth with you. When we see each other, it's going to be what it's going to be. Like, I ain't doing no arguing. I don't care how anybody take it. Like, you gonna never, you ain't never going to see Savage 
arguing and raising his voice, even in the street. Like, I'm not even arguing with no nigga face to face. Like, it's finna be whatever it's finna be. Let's right. get straight to it. Like, I don't want to do no talking. Let's get straight to it. Whatever we finna do type shit. Right. So for me, you know, it was just like, uh, I ain't want to see that going down. And I hope y'all, honestly, I don't know if it happened, but behind closed doors, work that shit out. Because at the end of the day, it's like for for y'all to go through it is it it'd be like, for what? Like yeah, he talked to my manager. Him and my manager had talked. I ain't talked. Well, he can't. He came in another clubhouse room and shit. he was kind of calmed down and shit. So we ain't really like talk talk, but it was like he was in the room and everything. Was good. At the end of the day, man, we all black men that's getting money, man, and that beat the beat the motherfucking the sure. system, man. Beat the motherfucking everything that was supposed to hold us back, man. We beat that shit, so you know. Let, let, y'all let that shit go, man. Because yeah. at the end of the day, that shit not worth nothing. It ain't yeah. a nigga ain't fuck ain't, ain't kill your homie, ain't slap your mom, ain't. I ain't gonna lie though. I feel like back in y'all day, like a lot of rappers was bitch ass niggas. So a lot of niggas from the old school just got that same that same mindset. Like they still feel like every nigga that rap is a character. But in our generation, a lot of the niggas who rap really come from that shit. They no, really cut gonna, from I, that shit. This is what I'm gonna say. I won't say just a lot of dudes in that in back then was bitch ass niggas. A lot of dudes stayed in their lane and everything wasn't based off street rap. Cause you had some majority of rap wasn't street. It right. was a small. No, I'm talking about the rappers who were street. Who oh was, yeah, a lot of, a lot like of them was, was, uh, I ain't gonna say yeah. they was bitch ass niggas. niggas. That was the wrong yeah. words. But no, no, they was bitch ass niggas. But maybe they was faking back then. They was just telling the story Bro. of the environment more Bro. than this before motherfuckers actually was doing putting work in and talking about it. Bro. Okay, let's let's. A lot be of dudes were just let's narrating the environment. Let's just be for real. That's what, he, what, that's and, that's what and, he's and, saying. And this, and and this, in, in today's society, you could be a shooter. You could run around. You could have grenades on you. You could do all this crazy shit, and you get like worship for that shit. Back when I was young, I was crazy. Oh, don't fuck with Gilly. He crazy. Oh, th- these niggas is bitch ass sneakers, man. Let's just call it what no, but it see, is. See, you're crazy. A lot was of these niggas of... was bitch ass niggas. My crazy was based off of no nigga. I know a little something. I ain't allowing you to fuck me, nigga. No, I, I need the proper the proper deal that I deserve. And when you know more than what you're supposed to know, yeah. and they can't lay it down and and fuck you over when you're coming in the game because that's what the game is all about. When you're coming in, we gonna fuck you over, and then we gonna then you gonna learn as you get. As you're in the game, then you're gonna realize we fucking you over, and then you're gonna try to come back for yours. I couldn't get fucked over. I knew shit. Yeah. So to me, if a motherfucker, just like today, let's be for real. Let's be for real. How many motherfuckers call us on a type of time? Yo, man, we gotta get some money together. All the big niggas, name them. All the big black niggas, be on our fucking phone. Fuck How many of them niggas we got money with? None of them. We get money with the white people, nigga. So when it come down to it, if you know, damn, I can get some money with these niggas. They don't do that. But you don't get money with to me, you bitch ass nigga. Fuck out of here. I get money with the white folks, nigga. Yeah. A lot of these niggas be bitch ass niggas. They 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 don't want they don't, they be scared you gonna outshine them and all that shit. They, fuck they they can make a shitload of money with you. These niggas be operating off of ego, man. Yeah, oh god. Yeah, a lot of them be bitch ass niggas. Room. I be the be scared to death when a nigga walk, walk in the room. room. Not 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 that you gonna do something for them. It's just you take they shine. But you, right, could, you, could, you. You, could, you could tell them. You could always tell them type of niggas by just looking at they crew though. Like, cause if you look at my crew, everybody turned up. Everybody got all tight jury cards, whatever. A nigga talking about money in their pocket. My young niggas, 17, 18, two, three hundred thousand. Like, yeah. So you can you could just tell that nigga that type of nigga off back by looking at. Yeah. I'm respecting for keeping it real. Shit. A lot of niggas from our era was bitch ass niggas. Yeah, and and niggas from that era start to think like, oh, that just every nigga who rap like ain't cut like that. Like niggas got to start thinking. No, like but it's that. a lot of niggas that rap in this era that ain't cut like that. That's fronting though. Yeah, but it ain't all of them. Not no, all it ain't of all of them for sure. Like you know that's the I'm first saying? thing a nigga say when a nigga get into it with a nigga. You a rap nigga. That's like 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 being a rapper automatically means you ain't about nothing. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep it all the way real though. Back when when I was when I was coming up and doing my thing, I had a couple niggas say that to me on some. Yeah, but. Yeah, you. That's just some rap shit. It's like what? Nigga? Yeah. Oh, oh, just cause I rap and you don't. 
I have to put words See, because back then, could. back then, but back then it was different because rappers wasn't respected like it is like right. now. Now rappers is the street nigga respect the rapper because street niggas want to be rappers. Right. Because the money and they, they looking at it, but it, it wasn't like that back then. It was like, oh, you a rapper? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, back get money. then the rappers respected money, the nigga, street nigga niggas. So it was different. See, back then the rappers wanted to be like the street niggas. You, that nigga pulled up in that motherfucking Benz with them hammers on it. That 500 nigga, he jumped out. You was like, Gucci's damn. on. You wanted to be like the street nigga. Now. But now the rapper is the street nigga. Yeah. But, but but hold on. Now 